Well, a group of U.S. combat veterans is now facing a different test of nerves every night on stage. Yeah, they all left the service. They moved to the comedy circuit, as one does, because they believe <laughs> laughter is the best medicine, as Jeff found out. Yeah, incredible group of guys. Um, they call themselves the G.I.s of comedy, and it's true. They're using humor to help heal their fellow soldiers and themselves. We'd play cowboys and Indians. One guy would be a cowboy, one dude would be an Indian. I was always the Chinese guy that built the railroad. On stage now, he's happy, healthy, and funny. It's like one, two, three, rice bowl. Which is a far cry <laughs> from where Tom Tran was just a few years ago. Tran's head! I'm bleeding! The trouble began in 2003. Head. Head? Yeah. When Tom was shot in the back of the head in Iraq. A glancing blow, he recovered quickly, physically, but not mentally. My roommate was killed two weeks before we came home by an IED. And everything kind of went downhill from there. Didn't smile, didn't laugh, didn't really like anything. And then one day, the doctors at the VA said, hey, man, you're going to have a heart attack before you're 30. So you got to relax. You got to do something. You just <laughs> Comedy was it. Comedy in the form of stand-up, getting on stage, <laughs> <laughs> laughing, making others laugh and bringing his brothers along for the ride. Tight. I'm like, I go, Marine? He's like, yeah, you're Marine? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you still active? <laughs> Put this little team together, five guys, we're all comics, we're all combat vets. The GIs of comedy debuted this past January. I've met tomatoes smarter than this girl. Tom Tran. Ha, 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 delete, delete. Tom Irwin. I was born in Cuba. I'm a good swimmer. Jose Sardui. Fellas, you ever have a girl give you that? Ew. G. Riley. That's what famous looks like right here. And Will C. From the Army, Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps. Had there been Cubans on the Titanic, everybody would have survived. <laughs> oh my God, there's no more lifeboats. Cubans are like, we don't need no lifeboats. <laughs> you take that piano, you put it in the water, you can put 16 people on that thing. What's great about our group is that our comedy is so different. We're very diverse as people. Like, we're black, we're white, we're Vietnamese, Cuban. Our comedy's different, our personalities are different. Cohesively as a show, I think that makes us something unique. Unique as well because they've all been witnesses to war zones. And they all know how important it can be to get away. It's a way to give back. I'm, I remember what it was like to have the guys come over and perform. And it does, it lets you uh, kind of get away in your mind for a minute. This is when you know you're put on weight. You guys see that tattoo? You see that? It used to connect. They opened their recent national tour at the Comedy Stop in Atlantic City, New Jersey, playing to a packed house. Each of their shows begins with a national anthem. And while hardly any of the material is family friendly. Let me tell you something. I was out there walking the boardwalk today. I saw a hooker today. One of the main ideas is to bring families together. There's a big divide between military families and non-military families in our country, which I just don't quite understand. Just call me a POW, huh? Pizza or wings, baby, pizza or wings, that's it. The reaction has been intense, both for audience members and the performers themselves. But comedy, when I get on stage, the only thing I've ever likened jumping out of an airplane to was getting on stage in front of 200 strangers with new jokes and going, am I gonna eat it or am I gonna make these people laugh? Gangs in L.A., the name don't never fit. It don't fit. Joker can't take a joke. You see Sleepy at 7-Eleven at 3 o'clock in the morning. Less than a year in, the, the GIs, G.I.s of comedy of say they have big plans ahead. Their ambition for the troop. My goal is to perform for every soldier deployed anywhere around the world. Almost as strong as their love of country. You know, when somebody says you're a veteran, I mean, that, that's a badge of honor. It is. That is, that's, you know, you, you feel that. I'm, I'm proud to say I'm a veteran. Hey, guys, thank you so much for coming out tonight. We're the GIs of comedy. Tom Merwin, Jose Sardui, we'll see. By the way, if you, if, if you miss the GIs of comedy together, uh, you, they also perform individually, so. You talk about laughter being the best medicine. Uh, the guys are funny too. They're, they they very, definitely are. We were, I, we were pleasantly surprised by that. Um, and, they're, they, and they each have the, their the routines are very different. Well, and because they're each such different people, but it's it, it is great um, and, and great to be able to laugh at yourself. You say they've had a little backlash though. I think from their I, I mean I, or I from think others? a couple people have said to them, "Listen, you shouldn't you shouldn't joke about this. You shouldn't joke about war." And their response is, "Have you been there? Because yeah. we have." Yeah. 
with what so, they with what they've dealt with and the, the amount of time that they have served this country, I think they basically have carte blanche to go up there on stage and they can talk about whatever they want. And, and they are they're good. And you talk about a nerve wracking experience, yeah. oh, man, stand up comedy. Absolutely, I know what they've gone through already, but. The Bravo. Of nerves. All right, Bravo, I see an gentlemen. early show field trip in our future, you and it involves it. the GIs <laughs> and comedy.